Hey guys, it's Joe Snell. Iran seized a South Korean oil tanker. Qatar and its neighbors signed a deal signaling the end of the Gulf Rift. And Iraq issued an arrest warrant for US President Donald Trump. Let's catch you up on these headlines from around the Middle East. We begin in Iran. Well, just off the coast of Iran in the Strait of Hormuz, where the regime seized a South Korean flagged oil tanker on Monday. Iran's Revolutionary Guard troops stormed the tanker, forced it to travel to Iran, and then detained its crew. The incident comes as billions of dollars of Iranian assets are frozen in South Korean banks because of US sanctions. Moving on to Qatar, where the country joined its Gulf Arab neighbors on Tuesday in signing a Solidarity and Stability Pact. This is significant because since 2017, Qatar has remained under an air, land and sea embargo by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt and Bahrain over their alleged ties to supporting terrorism. The crisis became known as the Gulf Rift. Reports now indicate that the United Arab Emirates could restore trade and travel with Qatar within the week. Finally in Iraq, the country issued an arrest warrant on Thursday for outgoing US President Donald Trump. The warrant was issued by a judge in Baghdad's investigative court over last year's US killing of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani and Popular Mobilization Forces Commander Abu Mahdi al mohandes The charges of premeditated murder carry the death penalty on conviction. It's unlikely to be carried out, but nonetheless, it's a symbolic move by Iraq in Trump's final days in office. Now hang on before you go, here's a list of a few events coming up in the week ahead. On Sunday, the African Union hosts a meeting between Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia over their dispute of the Nile River Dam. On Thursday, the United Nations Security Council will hold a meeting to discuss Yemen. And on Friday, that same council will hold a briefing to discuss their UN support mission in Libya. And that's your Middle East news for this week and some for next week. For more reading on the region, make sure to visit our website at www.al-monitor.com. Until next week, stay safe everyone. I'm Joe Snell. Thank you.